Hi, you're right. Hi. 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 Sure. Oh, wala pa. Hindi pa lumalabas. Hindi pa lumalabas, Alex. Parang mukhang pumasok na ito. Hindi, ko, hindi pa lang lumalabas. Tama ba itong page? Uh, opo. Yan pa. Isa pa. Thank, Thank you. you. Thank you very much. Ito na yata. Thank you. Thank you. Hi guys, thank you very much. Come on, I Love song kami lahat, baka magulat ka ngayon, mabilis. This is the only time that we play fast songs, 5 to 8, every day. Totally 80 cent title. Kasi para yung mga nagka-drive naman, drive time, mabilis naman. Yeah. This is the only day, puro love song na eh. Yeah, yeah. So baka magulat lang kayo na, bakit eh? Ah. Yeah. Hi! 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 Hi everyone, so online. Yes, my cafe. Salamat po kanina pa po ko inaantok. After this song po, start po ba interview mo? Okay. One minute. Ay, ano pa na asukal pa? Isa pa. Isa pa. Ay, sugar. Sugar. Hi, so mga nasa online, nakapagpapos sa akin yung camera. <laughs> Thank you for watching. Nasa na si Jun? Nilagay ko ni Jun yung song niya? Hindi pa. Nilagay na ni Jun yung song niya. Tahimik, tama? Tama. I'm here so I'm ready to promote my latest single, Tahimik. Hindi pa. Matapad na rin sa magtrabaho eh. Ha ha ha! Thank you. Thank you. And 1,000 people watching online. 1,000 people watching online. Be say hello to them. Wow. Magdaan mo na ako sa ikin ko. Yan na. Stand by. It's totally 80s on 979 Home Radio. Feels good to be home, and this is Alex. I'm here to play for you, of course, music from the 80s, and I hope you are having fun on this beautiful Wednesday evening. I know that you've been stressed all day from work, so tonight we're going to give you what you deserve. So to uh, you know, to serve a treat for this Wednesday evening, we'll be joined by a very special guest, friends. It's my honor to welcome one of the country's most beloved artists, whose songs have been part of our playlist touching our souls. So to share with us the latest blessing in her life, maghawak hawak kamay tayo as we welcome live here at home radio, the one and only pop rock royalty, Yang Constantino. Yay! Ay sa lahat ng mga tagapakinig ng home radio at sa lahat ng mga nasa 
labas. At lahat po nang nasa online, 1,500 people watching right now sa Facebook po ng Home Radio. Whoa. Thank you, thank you so much, guys. That's really amazing. 1,000 people watching now live on Facebook? That's so cool. Of course, yeah. welcome to Home Radio. Thank it's you. It's your first time to be here. I think so. Parang sa buong mga 12, almost 12 years ko in the industry, parang first time ako napadaan nito, so I'm really happy. Thank you sa pag-welcome. You're always welcome. Thank you. Salamat, salamat. Grabe no, you're so blessed. And I think we can all agree that Yen Constantino is more than just a definition of a singer. Because every time that you compose a song and then sing it, you touch lives it. Salamat. And we know it's really coming from the heart. It's like any Yen Constantino song is relatable, whether you're broken hearted or in love. I remember there was one time, Yang, no? I was listening to your song, na, Di Na Ganon. Mm. Oh, wow. Oh, wow. Oh, my. And that was the first time my mom saw me crying. It was embarrassing, but I think we've been through that. All of us. <laughs> ngayon ko na lang ulit narinig na yung oh. yung kanta ko na yun. I mean, na-remind ako yung I wrote, parang Di Na Ganon, siguro mga... Nine, ten years ago, yeah, mga gano, no? nine years ang ago. Yun, thank you, thank you. And, and, yung first ballad progression yata na tinray ko ever. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Uh, yeah. And, okay. and right now, oh. grabe, hindi ko makapaniwala na I'm seated across you. Mm, <laughs> singer, the, the you. one behind that song Salam. that made me cry. <laughs> Salamat and so, sorry. So, so, yeah. <laughs> no, thank you. For, for all the success that, you know, the music has brought to your life, what are you most thankful for? Um, na nakapagstay ako sa industry kasi I know it is really hard yeah. maraming dumadating nakakapasok tapos after mga ilang years na wawala yeah. and din talaga yung pinagpapasalamat ko sa Diyos at sa lahat ng mga sumusuporta sa akin kasi without them talagang wala wala ay parang walang walang susuporta sa lahat ng ginagawa ko even sa mga songs ko like um, at times I would just write songs and alam ako parang may impression yung mga tao sa akin para ah, hit me crazy yung pero ako wala kasi talaga para ako bumabato ng dart lang sa hangin para ako sigey labas ko tong song na to na sobrang feel ko yung uh, yung groove feel ko yung melody and i hope that people will like it and pag nag pag nangyayari yung ganyan talagang sobrang ah iyon yata yung isa sa pinakamasarap na feeling sa mundo yung hindi mo talaga maintindihan din bakit, bakit, bakit nagugustuhan ng mga tao yung music ko. So, yun talaga, sobrang grateful ako dun. I think God really blessed you with such talent. So, oh, thank <laughs> you. Oh, salamat. Well, speaking of the good things that are happening in your life right now, you have a new single. Mm -hmm. And there's Star Music and it's yes. called Tahimik. So, can you tell us more about Tahimik? Is this written by you personally? Yes. Okay. Um, ito, actually, latest album ko na sinistisya, lahat yan ay sinulat ko. Pero sobrang special nung concept ng album. Actually, um, uh, sparked siya by Sir Ray Valera. Kasi kasama ko siya sa show namin sa Tawag ng Tanghalan. And one time, nag-usap lang kami. Of course, it's always an honor na makasama ng legend. Pero it's an sobrang ibang honor yung bigyan ka ng challenge ng isa sa mga pillars ng OPM music industry. Ano. So, sabi niya sa akin, <laughs> ano, Alam mo yung maganda naman yung mga kanang sinulat mo eh. Kaso lang, parang tungkol lahat sa'yo. Pati kaya gumawa ka ng kanta o kaya ng album na tungkol naman sa mga tao na kikinig. At uh, storya nila. So, nung time na yun, sobrang parang oo nga, it made sense to me. May sinusulat naman ako before ng mga songs about other people. Pero most of the time, yung mga songs talaga na narinig sa akin ng mga tao are very personal. Yeah. So, talagang it, for this album, yung Sinistisha, sabi ko talaga, ito ang gagawin ko. Hindi ako susulat ng kanta na tungkol sa akin, lahat ng topic sa album na to. Tungkol sa mga story na narinig ko, sa mga nakakatrabaho ko, sa kapatid ko, o nabasa kong story online. So, parang ano lang, ang, ang, ang ano lang, talagang, ang, ang ganda niyang project. And at the same time, na-stretch ako as a songwriter. So, yung, yung tahimik, I remember na, kanina hindi ko ma-remember yung story kung bakit ko nasulat to. Isa to sa mga nasulat ko dahil sa pangsustok ko sa mga fans ko. <laughs> so, meron akong isang supporter. Kasi before, nag-post ako sa Facebook ng mga yen quotes. So, pag may, may something ako na natutunan, ginagawa ko siya na quote. Medyo patula ng konti yung, yung, yung salita. Tapos, siya yung first na nag-comment. Tapos, parang isip ko lang, ano kaya ang life, yung, ano kaya itsura ng life ng person na to? So, pinlik ko yung profile niya. Kasi, gubros lang ako, ano kinain niya, nakita ko, sino yung friends niya, ganyan. Tapos, may isang picture doon na may words yung quote din. Tapos, English yun eh, sabi niya parang, ano, um, 
hindi ko malaman yung eksaktong mga words pero I'd rather love you parang in silence because ah, you can, we, parang sabi niya parang you can't reject me yeah, yeah. you can't reject me kung hindi ko sasabihin so parang to other people um, siguro sabihin nila parang ang weak mo hindi mo kayang sabihin yeah, yeah. torpe ka or um, kahinaan yun na hindi mo kayang ipahayag ang damdamin mo pero for that person bravery siya kasi kaya niya magmahal ng walang kapalit ng walang sukli so parang wow Nung nas, ano nasa dressing room ako dyan eh, sabi ko, anong feeling yun? I started really crying. Ah, sakit-sakit naman ang feeling. I felt like, it's as if ako yung nakakaranas nung, nung ganong klaseng pain, na magmahal ng one way, na hindi ka mahal ng tao, minamahal mo. So that's, yun yung nasulat ko. So yung first stanza was, ano, um, sabi nila, ito wag daw ang katulad kong hindi. So, so, ayun yung parang, Grabe lang. Grabe yung um, um, uh, parang internalization na, din, na, na narating ko. Just because uh, parang gusto ko talaga stretch yung songwriting ko. And they really, I'm really proud of this album. Sobrang um, accomplishment sa akin as a songwriter. It only goes to show how much you really love your fans. I mean, for you to write songs for them, mm. it's really amazing and it's it's really sweet because I think not a lot of artists would do that for their fans, di ba? Mm. Pero ikaw talagang in-extend mo yung talent mo for them. Mm. So I'm sure talagang lahat ng fans mo kinikilig ngayon and very thankful <laughs> sana, lang, you know, sana. for them. Sana, sana. Sana. Grabe, Yang, you've been in the industry for more than a decade mm. now. And uh, you have definitely or literally achieved the stars na nga. <laughs> of course, and we all know the story of your life and how music has, you know, become your stepping stone to success. Yeah, right now, what advice would you tell the Pinoy dreamers or those people uh, who want to pers- pursue their passion for music? Because, diba, not a lot of people are supportive uh, when it comes to music making as, you know, uh, their career, diba? Kasi sinasabi nila na, yeah. Ano lang, mababay kita dyan, or ganito. Hmm. Pero, what advice would you give those people who want to follow their dreams? Ano na, hindi talaga lahat ng tao mabiplease mo. And, maraming tao na magsasabi na, pangit yung ginagawa mo, pangit yung ganito, pangit yung ganyan. At the end of the day, ikaw yung merong hawk sa manibela ng life mo. And, um, you, you, you can choose to listen to criticisms na sobrang hindi healthy. Pero, you can choose na piliin yung mga bagay na papakinggan mo that will empower you. Um, it really helps na magkaroon ng boundaries when it comes to um, like ngayon sobrang open social media sobrang uh-huh. ang easy na mabash ka dahil mag ginawa ko may sinabi ka na ganito so sa akin kung may boundary ka sa heart mo na parang yeah I'm releasing my music pero um, hindi ka madedefine ng mga taong uh, nagkukomento sa'yo if you love what you do you keep on producing music and one day, yung mga taong katulad mo, magnet na sila. Yun yung sinasabi ko, even with vlogging right now, I feel like I'm a newbie. I like, I'm, ako ay isang baby vlogger. Mm-hmm. Pero alam mo yung parang, eh, hindi ko nararamdaman na parang, ah, parang, oh, walang nanonood or whatever, parang ganito, ganyan. Kasi sa akin, parang, I'm just being myself eh. Parang ito yung gusto kong, I like vlogging. I really like it. It makes me feel, uh, parang like a kid. Pag nagdo-document ako ng mga bagay na ginagawa ko. Pag nag-start ka na mag-scroll ng comments, you will see like few hate comments or comparing you to other people. Ako, for example, ako, kinakumpare ako to other people. Will I let that affect me? Or makinig ako sa sarili kong puso? Ang tanong lagi, gusto ko ba yung ginagawa ko? Sumasaya ba ako sa ginagawa ko? So, dapat separate yun. Dapat yung joy mo, hindi mo nakukuha sa mga taong nasa paligid mo lang. Pero talagang genuinely, habang ginagawa mo yung thing na yun, your music, your passion, talagang genuinely masaya ka. And everything is just bonus. At the end of the day, you do something that will make you feel alive. Super short ng life kung hayaan mo yung mga tao na um, magdikta ng bagay na gagawin mo. So sa akin ganun, siguro I feel like sa buong uh, 12 years ko in the industry, it's something talaga na nakatulong din sa akin to be positive kasi nga sa generation ngayon it's so easy talaga na mapagsabihan ng mga pakit na bagay so don't let that affect you Grabe Ms. Yang, naiiyak ako and I think all our listeners <laughs> right now are very lucky to hear those entire words Aww, So I'm sure that you. a lot of your avid listeners are tuned in right now so maybe you can tell them where to find you in the coming days I mean yes. upcoming gigs 
Actually guys, alam niyo hindi talaga ako magaling sa schedule. So <laughs> I, I know bukas nasa Davao ako. So wow. sana po abangan niyo ako diyan mga Davaoenos, pero yung sa mga susunod schedules ko hindi ko pa alam. Um pero follow niyo lang ako sa mga social media accounts ko sa Facebook yung Constantine Real sa um Instagram at Yang and yung travel photos ko at Yang Constantino sa Twitter Yang plugged in. Tsaka isa yun nga yung aking uh, vlog sa YouTube Hashtag Yang Vlog. So, sana follow niyo ako. I really love posting stuff. So, okay, you. there you go. So, once again, check out Miss Yang Constantino's latest single. It's called Shahimik Under Star Music. So, it's now 6.39 on the clock. And we'd like to thank, of course, the pop rock royalty, Miss Yang Constantino. Salamat thank you radio. so much for Thank you, ah. Uh, salamat. Really this interview. It's really inspiring. Thank you. And thank you so much for, alam mo yun, minumotivate mo lahat ng tao eh. Kahit mm. broken-hearted sila or in love. So, thank you. Thank, thank you. For, for, you know, for keeping on uh, making music for us. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you so much, Miss Yang Constantino. Now, we get back to our guest, Miss Yang Constantino. Thank you so much, Miss Yang Constantino. Now, we get back to more of the music over here on 97.9 Home Radio. It feels good to be home. Hi, guys. That was my interview. Thank you for watching. Thank you, Miss Yang. Nice. Bye-bye.